What up Raffle Leaders, welcome back to my channel. This is the car channel, Raffle Nation Cars. And I want to bring something different to the YouTube car um, channel network. I want to give you a point of view on cars that most other YouTubers don't give you. You see, I've been following cars and I've been in love with cars since I was very, very little. Like since Hot Wheel days, you know, the days when you would go to the supermarket with your mom and she would buy you a tiny Hot Wheels car as a pacifier, right? And I always liked the Hot Wheels that were made with, um, you know, aluminum, the heavy, the heavy ones, as opposed to those plastic cars that were just light and, you know, floppy. So I've had... Um, a relationship with cars since I was yay high, since I was like two or three years old. I remember my first um, toy car set was a pair of racing cars. I think it was a red and a yellow car and they were electric cars. You put them on a track and they had a couple of brushes underneath that would touch the track and you had these actuators that you, two actuators that you used to um, electrified the track and the cars would go around in a figure eight on the track. That was my first electric car experience. And now, electric cars are all the rage. They're the talk of the town. So I wanna to bring to you my point of view, not only about um, electric cars and cars in general, but of a car company that I'm creating called Lisa Cars. And we're still in the design phase. We're still designing what the cars will look like and the, um, the mechanical phase, determining how the cars will be powered, how they will operate, and the, you know, the marketing phase where we're gonna de decide who we want to target, wh which mark, what segment of the market we want to target. So we're gonna bring you more and more of that as it develops on this channel. Remember on this channel I've also, or in the past, I have also talked about purchasing cars in Guyana. How, how, for example, do you ship a car from Japan? How do you purchase a car in Japan? How do you ship it to Guyana or to wherever you live? I've also talked about taxes and cars. I bought um, several cars in my time and what's interesting is that the taxes you pay depend on you know, the state in which you live. This was fascinating. Um, experience that I have had in um, in, the, in the US. I bought my uh, last car in New Jersey. I bought a BMW 7 Series in from a wholesaler, a wholesale lot in New Jersey, and ended up paying about 6% tax. The car before that, I bought in New York, and I think I paid, what, 8 point something percent tax, and so on. And before that, I bought a car when I lived in Guyana, and I don't remember if I paid tax on it. But it was shipped from Japan and I bought it, um, you know, from a car dealership. So I'm going to talk about cars, how you, um, you like them, how I like them, my favorite cars, and how I choose a car. I think this is something that's missing um, from the market. I think from the um, YouTube, um, the YouTube car reviewers, this is how do you go about deciding what car is right for you? And how do you decide um, when to get a car and why to get a car, how to pay for it? All these things are missing. You know, a lot of YouTubers do reviews and in fact, I like the, the YouTube reviews that are being done, you know, currently on, on you know, many of your favorite channels. You know, the guys who collect um, supercars and hypercars and so on, the guys who review the state of the art um, in electric cars, the guys who review the run of the mill cars, tell you about what's the latest features in, um, you know, Toyota's 2023 um, Prius, for example. Um, but there's not very pe many people out there telling you what is wrong with the certain um, model or brand of car. Uh, out there for example I have had my worst experiences um, mechanically with BMWs so these guys make very well cars in fact the drive their drivers cars right they're the ultimate driving machine that's what they add says and it's really nothing like that 
There's nothing that drives and handles um, with precision like a BMW. However, these cars are notoriously unreliable. And there are very few people out there talking about it. And if you don't believe me, go to all of the um, forums on the internet. Go and Google and all the forums on the internet that will <laughs> tell you about all the problems that you could get and how to fix them in all the various models of BMW, right? And I spent many of my weekends in New York underneath my car fixing various things like the, um, the drive shaft, for example, the center bearing that just suddenly came loose and I spent like two or three weekends replacing it, you know, finding the tools to fix it and replacing it like the um, the ball joints and the steering ends that, that go and get the, 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 wheel, the front wheels wobbling. You know, I spent a couple of weekends <laughs> finding the tools and the parts to fix that. Like the expansion tank, which freezes and breaks every winter and sometimes in summer, right? And then once the car overheats, then you always wonder if you've damaged the, um, <clears throat> the seals. Right, you, your your head gasket seals, and then eventually you get oil in your um, in your coolant. So all of these things nobody talks about um, when they talk about BMWs, and and you get similar problems with Mercedes Benz with the suspensions and so on. So those are things that um, are covered by some YouTubers, some some YouTube channels. But what I want to cover is how do you, what does a car mean, right? And how do you choose a car? And what it, what it feels like to drive a car? And what is the experience like going someplace with a certain car? Like my experience of driving through Manhattan with a BMW is entirely different from my experience driving through Manhattan with a Nissan Stanza, for example, right? Or driving long distances, driving from New York to Toronto, or driving from New York to Miami or from New York to Nashville, Tennessee, all of which I've done in um, various cars and doing it with a BMW, for example, and worrying that it would break down on the way or driving to, to, to Toronto, you know, 12 hour drive, 8 to 12 hours depending on traffic uh, and worrying that you're, you know, you're, you're going to break down in the middle of nowhere in a, in a Nissan stanza, you know, because you didn't check, um, you never che replaced your, um, your, uh, what was it, the drive chain? Anyway, so, the timing chain, the timing belt. You never replaced the, the timing belt. So, those are the things I'm going to cover in on this channel, from taxes to models of cars and to the problems you can have and how you fix them with cars, to what they mean and eventually to how you build a car from scratch, how you build a car company, how do you find a gap in the market and you build a car company from scratch. This is Raffle Nation Cars. Welcome to Raffle Nation Cars. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what we're doing on this channel. Later.